Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So I'm starting this video from my room which is a bit of a weird one for me but today I'm very excited because last night when I was in work my lens come. Mika I think it is the 50mm autofocus. It's a full frame and is an f1.8. Now the f-stop is what I've really sold it for me. Um, this really is a budget lens for a full frame camera because it was only £180. Now £180 is a lot of money to me, but when you compare this to the Nikon lens version, which is £500-odd, um, I've read the reviews on this, and the reviews were quite good. Um, I made sure they were real because, you know, there's ways of spotting out the fake reviews and stuff. There are some negatives to this, so you can only show, um, shoot as close as 63 meters or millimeters I think um, which you know if you want to get a closer shot then it is a bad thing but I wanted this just because I'm doing boxing events they're in dark areas as well so the f-stop will really help me portraits as well I think this will be a brilliant lens all around for the business side of things but I will have some fun with it anyway, with car photography and such, and getting just close-up detail shots. Um, and I'll get to it and open it now, because um, I'm waffling a bit. Well, the last lens I actually bought was about four years ago, I think, and it's my main wide angle, I think. Like I said, for £180, about $200, I think, for Americans. Um, I don't know why it would be for other prices in other countries but like i said it's a budget lens and i just can't believe i found it this cheap because i was if in an r and we have to get a nick on one because i was like i know that's going to be good but like i said reading the reviews um it seemed okay so you get a lens hood the lens hood feels quite sturdy actually and then sorry my phone's just hundred to one this morning for some reason and then the actual lens to be honest considering people said it's plastic it feels quite yeah it feels quite sturdy um you've got the autofocus i don't know if this is going to focus my webcam can i do it manually as you can see it's upside down but you've got manual and auto focus, so I'll probably um, stay in auto because it's a bit easier. If I gotta go into manual, I will try it. But it looks like a lovely lens. Wow, it looks stunning. Actually, I'm really excited to use this. I'll put some. Well, I'll try the footage out recording wise in this video um it's also got which i've never had on a lens a usb slot usb c so that is for firmware updates which when i read the reviews i believe is to sort out some of the problems now i should be investing more money really into lenses but because i'm in a bit of a financial drip at the minute and I just really wanted to up my game with the boxing events because I am getting more of them. I just thought something like this would be incredible actually. Like I said, there are some disadvantages with the 63mm. So you can't shoot too close. But I believe this will perform really well. Video wise, I do not know what it's going to be like. I'll be interested to see what the autofocus feature is actually like. Uh, but we'll test that out. It's not looking too nice outside. I know it's obviously blown up in the webcam. Um, I can't really help that. But without further ado, let's get out, I suppose, before it rains. Um, I don't think I need to update the lens. Hopefully not. Um, I'm just excited to have a new lens to try out. So I've just come to a local place called Cunt Leary Lakes to try out their uh, new lens. 
it is a nice little place as you can see it's rather cloudy and uh, overcast the day this morning I thought it was gonna be a nice sunny day but obviously not we move so when I find a spot I'll get the camera out and I'll just start taking some photos and see how it does so this was the problem I'm talking about I'm quite close to this sign and it obviously won't focus that is one of the negatives but for the price you can't really go wrong if I step back a little bit as you can see is in focus now but you can't go too close like I said but for 180 quid there is going to be some setbacks um, I don't think I'm ever going to shoot that close realistically anyway but that is one of the negatives I just wanted to test out the auto focusing on the camera but it would also help if I actually had it on f 1.8 instead of f9 I'm testing out all of the obvious capabilities realistically because I am just going to use this lens at f 1.8 but that was the uh, by factor for me so I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but then just looking back at the footage that you just seen, the autofoxing didn't really seem all that bad to be honest. For a budget lens, I'm quite happy with it. Like I said, I read some reviews and then I watched some YouTube videos and most of the reviews were bang on to be fair. I'm really happy with it and I haven't been up come to Leary Lakes in a while so it's nice to come up here and get some photos that I may not necessarily get normally. just because we're having a little sun shower first impressions of the lens quite good to be honest i think it'll um i think it'll do for me um i'll get a full impression now when i load the pictures onto the pc garamed did and that's when i can do my final conclusion and the outro so i'm gonna go home now and look at the photos so after editing all of the photos I think the lens is pretty good anyway it'll do for me um there is some stuff we've got to do in post there's slight distortion and vignetting but vignetting ain't always a bad thing for 180 quid it is a brilliant lens um especially with the full frame lenses being an arm and leg just lately i know it used to be about obviously getting a budget camera and then spending all the money on glass. Um, but that works incredibly well for an 180 pound lens. I've really, really enjoyed using it. It's been a bit of a learning curve using a prime lens because I haven't had one in years. The last one was a 35 mil, I think. But yeah, I give that a solid eight out of 10. It's got its problems, but it's gonna work 180 quid, as I keep on saying. Uh, the one being that you've got to be at least 60 centimetres, millimetres away from what you're photographing. But yeah, really, really good lens. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing for more lens reviews, camera reviews, adventures, travelling, van life, all that sort of good stuff. If you could all smash the like button, leave a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.